If you love sweets, you'll love meeting Kristen Marin, owner and chief decorator at Sugar Me Sweet, where you can get hand decorated sugar cookies and cake pops that are almost too pretty to eat. You'll see what I'm talking about. Kristen, welcome. Thank you, Crystal. It's well, a pleasure. Yeah, I'm so excited because, of course, I'm a sugar addict. I've been trying to quit. I really have. Sugar is hard to quit. Oh it's my gosh. everywhere. And the things that you make, I mean, just, we just made this, we made a really pretty cupcake. What did you call this? It's a petal tip, so normally it would be a flower, but we put some extra petals in there to uh -huh. fluff it up a little bit. So it would normally be a flower with pearls. You did it in like two seconds and it's gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been doing this? I started the company in 2013 with decorated sugar cookies only. Okay. And then I progressively added cake pops and cupcakes, and now we're also doing cakes. So we do some gluten-free, um, mostly all full sugar, full flour. Yes. Because that's what most <laughs> people are eating, despite the, the risks. Um, but the cookies were the, the staple of the company for a long time. Mm -hmm. But now we've expanded into more things. So we get to expand more, play more, learn more. Yeah. And it's really kind of given the business a life of its own. So um, do you have other people that work with you or is this just on your own? I have an employee now. Um, she nice. found me a couple <laughs> months ago. And I think the universe provided her to me Aww. and then said, here's the business to follow. Yeah. I think that it, it knew that I was going to need help and brought me her, and she's fantastic. I love I that. I love her. <laughs> she's like my third daughter. What's been the biggest part of doing all of this for you? Is it the fun of creating for people's events or more about something in the passion of cooking and the passion of putting all these beautiful art, art pieces <laughs> together? You know, it kind of started with the art, but now it's more about being such a part of people's celebrations. Mm -hmm. I've, I'll do a bridal shower, and then I'll have the wedding, and then I get the baby shower, and then I get the birthdays. Yeah. And it just one follows the other, follows the other, and I feel like I kind of become a part of their family yes. when we get to do this. And it's a lot of fun for me. So, you know, grandma calls, hey, we need Hazel's sixth birthday, and I'm like, I'm on it. You yeah. know, and we're still doing purple and pink because they're still her favorite colors. Yes, we are. So, you know, fifth year in, we're still doing her, her two favorite colors. Yeah, so what's one of the biggest challenges? I know that this has got to be a lot because you have, I. Guarantee there's a party every day. <laughs> there's a party every day. <laughs> this is true. Um, I think the hardest part for me is coming up with the new ideas. If someone uh -huh. comes to me with a theme, we're doing wine and cheese for this bridal shower. We want cookies that reflect that. I ask them to send me whatever artwork or invitations or anything uh -huh. they've seen that they like, and I'll work from there with their colors. It's hardest when people are either overly specific, mm -hmm. like I want two that look like this, or one that looks like, those are almost impossible because just trying to put that order together right. is so taxing, yeah. it's so time consuming. Or when people just say, oh, you know, just do your thing. I know whatever you do will be great. Then I'm under <laughs> all this pressure to make something the really great <laughs> <laughs> with no guidance. And so that yeah. makes it really hard You too. have all of the imagination <laughs> possible. You can think of yes. anything. <laughs> Help me narrow it down just a little. Yeah, that's like when people tell me, uh, just order me whatever off the menu. I'm like, the menu is immense. Okay, well, I'll order you a pizza sandwich. Right? How do you like that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> All right, well, tell me, so talk me through making a pretty cupcake. Because Lord knows, I've tried, and I don't know if I don't have the right machinery. I mean, you've got some interesting things going on here. What does it take to make a cupcake look pretty? Magic touch. Mm. Actually, not even magic. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Okay. Really, there's so many tips and so many cheats anymore. It really doesn't take a lot of effort to make something really pretty. Uh -huh. We can do a simple, like the rose swirl tips people see all the rose time. Swirl. Oh, yeah. That's like you the ones you buy at the store. Yeah. yeah. Or you can really, if you like icing, you can really pile them Swirl on. Swirl it around. Yeah, that one looks more like a, um, I remember going to Dairy Queen as a kid. That's like the Dairy the Queen tasty Swirl. Freeze twins the tasty freeze The tasty, yeah. <laughs> you tasty freeze, you grew up in Michigan too. Or, like we did with this other petal tip, uh -huh. this, you can create little petals. Yeah, that was really crazy what you did. You like twisting and it's the just cupcake keep turning while the cupcake. swirling the Keep turning frosting. the cupcake. And what? then you can just kind of put little, what, little what? petals in the center. And just keep making them come up. And then you've got a little flower cupcake. It's so pretty. 
Wow. Here. You oh. try. <laughs> okay. So well, easy. You really can't mess up icing. I'm going to try a mix of what you just did. So I'm swirling. Oh, it's not doing much. I'm swirling Squeeze yet squeezing. Oh, it's kind of florally. Oh, the best part with the icing, bad. that doesn't look bad, is you can scrape it and start over at any time. Oh, that's kind of Oh, cute. that's perfect. I don't hate it. That's perfect. <laughs> I love it. Great. So if somebody wanted to follow in your footsteps, what would be the first thing that they would have to do? The first thing they would have to do? To be a master. Master baker cookie master decorator. crafter. Yes, have the ability <laughs> to learn. I mean, I so much of it was videos, yeah. people. My sister taught me how to decorate cookies originally, and then I just kind of took off on my own, and yeah. I found people whose styles I really liked and who I could replicate comfortably, mm -hmm. people who I like to decorate like, and then just follow them, and I see stuff that I like that's different, and I have put my own twist on a lot of stuff, and so really just, you have to have a passion for learning. Yeah, how do you find these people to follow? Are they like they're cake everywhere. boss people? No, they're not even cake boss Instagram. people. Instagram. There is this crazy little cookie community, I don't even want to call it little anymore, but there are cookie, like in any industry, there's like the queens of the cookie land. Yes, okay. And they're out there and some of them I adore and some of them their styles, while I appreciate their art, aren't anything that I would want to do. Not your bag. Not my yeah. bag. Um, I love what they do, but I don't have eight hours to spend on a cookie. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not my, not my thing. Um, but yeah, there's just this huge, huge group of cookie people and cookie followers. There's yeah. even a cookie convention that they oh do. Oh my gosh. No lie. It's so you fun. You need to get me the, it's the so day. It's so fun. <laughs> Tell me where they do it is. every 18 months in Salt Lake. So the next one will be next September, Ooh, September of 2018. And I told Devin that I would take her to that. It's, um, they bring in some of these big cookie artists and they do classes all day long for three days. And then there's a banquet, there's decorating. I know she's like, eh. <laughs> decorating, open decorating and judging. And there's all kinds of competitions and they have a big cookie competition for all of these. You can enter in any of these categories wow. and they announce the winners at the end of the convention. It's really cool. It's, it's a lot of fun. That's so exciting. So all these people you know on Facebook then become IRL friends. Nice. All right. Well, now i got to taste this. <laughs> Enough it's, talk. Everything's melting Enough under the talk. lights. Yes. It's melting <laughs> under the lights and I put way too much on this one cupcake. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. Oh my God. Okay. Does that taste like gluten free? I'm taking this whole plate home. <laughs> you can have them. Thank you. <laughs> All right, cupcakes are amazing. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you. your amazingness, oh, your you're amazing so welcome. sugarness. And I will see you again soon. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> that is tasty.